Hi, uh, my name is Ellie Beer. Um, I live in Israel and I represent uh, United Hatzala of Israel, which is a uh, first responding team throughout Israel, volunteer only. And I got the Social Entrepreneur of the Year from the World Economic Forum. And I want to reply and answer to uh, Swati from Mumbai, who asked a question. What is the one thing in 2012 you would like to see happen in the world? Well, what I did in Israel is something that I want to happen all around the world because I did in Israel, I connected people from all sectors. You know, we have a lot of diversity between people in Israel. We have uh, Jews and Arabs and Christians and, uh, and even Sikhs and other religions who all come to Israel. And we have to learn to live with each other because if not, we're going to have disasters, and we do have a lot of problems, but in my way, I just created a system where in any emergency, if someone, God forbid, is choking or a heart attack or a car accident or a bomb attack, we have um, thousands of volunteers throughout Israel who are all professional paramedics and EMTs, and they respond in seconds to any emergency from their home or from their work, and they go directly to the emergency where it is. And we have a, a technology which was created by Now Force in Israel, which connects these people to um, to the location where the call is needed. Where if someone is choking, the the person who is there, who is the parent of this child choking, would press the button, the emergency button, and we would automatically know where they are, or they could call us, and they would, we would automatically know where they are, and we would send the closest paramedics there. So many times, you would find paramedics who are Jewish, and they would go respond to a child who's Muslim, or vice versa, you would have a Muslim volunteer in United Atzala who would respond to a choking child who's Jewish or Christian, and he would go save his life. So we see that when it comes to a disaster or a tragedy in a family where a child is choking or someone's having a heart attack, you don't really care who's going to come save you. You really need someone to save you. It doesn't matter if he, who he is and what color he is and if he's white or black or yellow. It doesn't really matter. So when someone is bleeding to death, anyone that comes here can save his life and be uh, and really make the change. So I'm saying the same thing about the world. I don't want this world to really care about each other. When they have a disaster in any country in the world, every country should offer their help, anyone that could. For instance, we in Israel offered our help to uh, Iran when they had an earthquake. So, um, unfortunately, they said no to us, and thousands of people were trapped underneath um, if buildings that collapsed, but they didn't want help from us. But we were willing, even so, politically, we don't get along with Iran, but you know what? The people that were trapped underneath these buildings needed help, and we have the most professional rescue units in the world. No doubt, we helped save hundreds and thousands of people. We saved all around the world, especially now in Haiti, where we send troops into Haiti to help save their life. So why don't we have a better world where we can think about, you know, forget about all the governments and all the politics. Let's connect people together. Let's connect people from from Saudi Arabia and Israel and Mumbai and um, Pakistan and anywhere around the world. Let's connect the people. Let's have like like a network. Let's have a network. Let's have, a network. Let's have like a social. Um, New thing coming up and saying, let's connect the people together and forget about the governments and maybe have one day uh, a new passport where the passport will be like a social passport. And if you want to go speak to someone in another country, you don't need the government to allow you to speak to another person. You can just speak to another person. And hopefully by that, we will respect each other and know how to live with each other. And Hopefully we'll have a better world that way. So that was a great question, uh, and I uh, really hope to answer some more questions very soon. And thank you to the World Economic Forum, to uh, to uh, the Schwab Foundation for doing what they're doing. Thank you.